Mark Zuckerberg has been taking a personal approach lately, revealing all the new features that are coming to the Quest 2, giving you the ability to invite your friends and tour your content as a party, including 360 videos and games. The company first announced this Horizon Home at the Connect event last year, promising to someday bring the Quest 2, a simple first party place to meet up with your friends. Over the past few months, the company added an array of social features, with the last one unlocking the possibility to teleport within your Horizon home so that users could move freely around their virtual rooms. It was however still missing its biggest feature, the ability to share these spaces with your friends. In a video posted by Mark Zuckerberg himself, he shows off this feature as he chats with a legendary free climber called Alex Honnold, watching a 360 video with him together and officially announcing that these new features will be available as soon as you put on the headset. Invite your friends to hang out, watch videos together or jump straight into apps right from your virtual home. These are the options that will now finally be available. And so many of us have been waiting for this for a very long time. Because now we can hang out in our own social spaces without needing a separate app for it. Also jumping into games together from the same spot makes multiplayer a lot easier. But of course it didn't stop there. With Zuckerberg saying that more options to customize your home spaces are currently in development. This could also be a huge deal. For those original people that remember the Oculus Home back on the Rift and Rift S, it was possible to completely customize your home space with different furniture, games, or the overall environment. While the Quest 2 version is very limited in selecting a few different types of home spaces that you can choose of. But with this news announcement, this means that it will soon be possible to integrate these kind of things in our Horizon homes as well. There are still plenty of other features that will need a lot of clarifying, including the number of users supported for a single quest home space and how joining games and launching 360 videos will work together but once again we got an amazing update for the quest 2 sadly we also got the news that meta cancelled and delayed their plans for their upcoming ar glasses you might remember at the connect event last year that meta announced their project nazare their first full augmented reality device the company didn't show a prototype or even real footage but instead showed a brief simulated concept clip with zuckerberg saying the following we still have a ways to go with Nazare, but we're making good progress. Detailing their apparent plans for the glasses up to the next six years, with an interval of two years for each new headset, one coming as soon as 2024. But we now got the news that these headsets would have to include expensive components, including eye tracking cameras, custom waveguides, and new micro LED projectors that would drive Nazare's price up to multiple thousands of dollars, making it a very niche product aimed to early developers and adopters. So they decided to not sell this product at all, instead using it as a demonstration device and distributing them among developers. Although not all hope is lost, because they did write that Meta will still make their second generation of AR glasses planned for 2026, with the amazing codename Artemis, that will then actually be the first generation of their AR devices, hopefully being a lot less bulky and at a lot cheaper price point. Do note that their non-AR smart glasses, codenamed Hypernova, are still planned for next year. These will be paired with your smartphone to display notifications and useful information in a small heads-up display. And yes, these are not full AR glasses, but it is Meta's first step to realize this future, creating an upgraded product from their previous generation of Ray-Ban Stories which was more of a cool spy gadget, including the possibility to take pictures and videos using the cameras in the glasses, with the Hypernova including a small upgraded display in the lenses. Interestingly, Meta also cancelled a lot of other projects they were working on, like their own smartwatch and their portal calling devices, with the reason being that there was a big general cost cutting and that the revenue has been showing some slowing growth. Once again, these smartwatches should not be confused with their EMG project, where they try to make a wristband that can read the electrical signals coming from your brain because this amazing technology is still full time in the working with Mike Bosworth confirming this with their following tweet post we're going to ship wrist wearables and AR glasses that will bring complete new technology like EMG to the market the path to the ground baking products is not a straight line and as common in our industry we iterate on multiple prototypes in parallel and shift resources as we learn confirming all the previously mentioned news so although it might sound bad that they cancel these plans, it also shows that Meta is focusing on the most important things at hand. And I can't wait to get our hands on this amazing new technology.